Hello, everybody. This is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I'd like to take a couple of minutes now to recommend and introduce you to another one of my playlists titled, What is the State of the Dead? But before I tell you about the subject, um, I want to ask a couple of questions. Should our theology conclusions be determined by a majority vote? In other words, the majority of the world do not believe in Christianity. So if we took a vote in the world so that we could, everybody could agree on, uh, on uh, God and the, all, all theological questions, the majority of the world would say no to the Bible and no to Christianity. So should we use the majority rule to determine our, our position? I hope you say no. Sometimes the majority position is the wrong position. Now, the majority of professing Christians uh, have, have held to some uh, viewpoints in theology uh, that have been wrong. Uh, the majority of Christians believe that salvation by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, is uh, not enough. The majority of professing Christians believe that some kind of religious work and personal merit is required to go to heaven. So should we go along with the majority, or should we go by what the Bible says? And this is what I'm going to ask you to do regarding this subject, too, and that is... What is the eternal state of man? Uh, those of us who are Christians and put our faith in Jesus, and we are guaranteed we're going to go to heaven. So uh, throughout eternity, we have eternal life. We have heaven promised us. Uh, but the people who never put their faith in Jesus, what is their eternal state? The majority viewpoint of professing Christians today uh, is that they will suffer in hell uh, what they call eternal torment. In other words, they're going to be tormented, and exactly how they're going to get tormented, of course, not everybody agrees exactly what that means, but they believe that they're going to be tormented by God forever and ever and ever and ever. Well, the doctrine of eternal torment for the lost, uh, I believed that, I taught it, and I defended it for many years. And in one of the arguments I had with someone, uh, as I defended eternal torment, it turns out that I lost the argument uh, because I listened to a different viewpoint. Uh, I was actually persuaded that the doctrine of eternal torment is wrong. So I'm going to ask you to approach this playlist, this subject. Go ahead. Watch these videos. And if you can prove me wrong, then make comments on each of the videos and show me where I'm wrong. I've changed my mind on some subjects in the past because people proved me wrong. So, but with an open mind, watch the videos and make comments. And I think you're going to find out though, the doctrine of eternal torment really cannot be defended. There's only a small number of verses in the Bible that can be used to defend it. And those verses are easily explained. How many verses do you believe uh, can support no eternal torment, but rather the, the, the lost person just perishes. That's what the Bible says. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, 
that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So the Bible tells us that we can have everlasting life by putting our faith in Jesus, or we will perish. I believe the lost people perish. And I believe it can be easily proven with overwhelming uh, proofs from the Bible. Now, I used to think that the Bible supported eternal torment. But once I was forced to defend it and, and uh, I was proven wrong, I found that, no, the Bible doesn't really support it. If it did, I'd still be believing and teaching eternal torment. The Bible teaches that the lost perish. God does not torture them forever and ever. Now, this playlist I have is lengthy. Uh, it's very thorough. And I think if you will watch it, even as a skeptic, with the intention of proving you wrong, that's fine. But watch it. And if you're not familiar with the uh, the, the position of uh, the lost perish, rather than being tormented forever. If you're not familiar with that, this will open up your eyes and you will be amazed. But I believe the character of God is such that God will would never even think of torturing someone forever and ever. And if you think there are verses that support it, you'll see that in this playlist, uh, we give you explanations for those verses. If you think that the Bible does not support the fact that the lost simply perish, no longer exist, then you're going to be amazed because the overwhelming evidence, the overwhelming number of scriptures in the Bible tell us that the lost will perish. They will not be tortured by God forever. So watch the playlist and I look forward to your comments. Uh, bless you in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.